again. I told you I would be in here. I am. So actually chilling out back of the house. Stuff flying all over me. Decided to do a little bit of an unboxing and actually trying to get my laptop set up here so I can see the comments a little bit better as well. And going to probably do a little beer review. Going to do a little bit of a cigar smoking. Finally, we've got some nice weather. And we are actually like in the high 60s. Hey, <laughs> what's happening, this Spike? Right? I'm back again. I'm back again. Representing Chicago with the Chicago Black and Brew uh, diversity shirt as well. So big shout out to Mickey and the crew up in Chicago. Got to represent. And uh, yesterday I was rocking the Afro beard chick. So the last two days I was kind of Chicago rocking it out, so to speak. And going to do a little bit of a mix of stuff here. Hey, what's happening? Uh, Heino's Barbecue and out, out, Outdoor Cooking and Press from Germany. Nice. Nice to have you aboard, my friend. So, trying to pull my laptop up, which allowed me to see the comments a lot easier than on my cell phone. Get the laptop here, the cell phone there. And uh, Germany, great beers in Germany. Big fan of the German beers. Definitely on my bucket list to get to Germany at some point. I actually had a few of... Uh, the junkin uh, the junk the German breweries over the few years had asked about actually reaching out and uh, me stopping over when I come by. So definitely want to get over to Germany at some point. Drewski Brewski in the house. What's up, Drewski? What's up, man? And also Blake TV. Thanks, homie. Yeah, this is a nice little shirt. So I picked it up to show some support and some love as they're trying to do some things up there as well. And I'd like to get back to Chicago at some point. Um Spike says, am I the same guy that laughed at Elo passing out, Elmo passing out from drinking too many beers? Well, earlier you mentioned Elmo passed out, and I did laugh. So that was the video, I think, from the brewery that uh, I was doing a flight of beers. So I am the same guy from earlier. So now as far as the cigar, I'm actually going to check out this one here, and this is called the Traveler. Uh, fumble. There we go. So this is one I picked up the other day. And it's from uh, Brick House. Don't know much about it. Six seventy-five was the price of the cigar, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. Get this baby cut while I do some other stuff here. And it caught my eye with a little bit of a logo that it had on there. Plus, I kind of like them when they're in these kind of cases like this. That way, if I don't have a humidor, I feel better about having them in pretty good shape and not getting stale on me or anything. So. Gonna light this baby up with my uh, Lagunitas lighter right there. Lagunitas. Just one of their knickknacks they actually happen to have. Now out of Petaluma and Chicago. With a little bottle opener on the uh, lighter too, which is always handy. We go we get that bad boy lit <coughs> perfectly like to actually be out here out back um i'm so happy to finally get some nice weather being able to sit outside uh bam need the dinosaur pass out from drinking <laughs> a lot of people passing out my boy spike <laughs> did barney the dinosaur pass out too I love you. You love me. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a background. He's a LOL. Yes, Barney did pass out. So here's my glass for drinking the beer. And the beer I'm going to actually drink here in a little bit. I'm going to let it warm up some. It's from Kentucky, All Tech Brewing. It is their Blackberry Barrel Porter. So this is one that came out. A little while back, 8.3% ABV, aged in bourbon barrels. This is actually the last of the four, so I won't have a separate review for this. But, you know, I'm trying to do more stuff to the channel besides just reviews anyway. So I'll probably start drinking more beers when there might not be a full, just dedicated review to them. I've got them here. I need to drink them. So I'm going to try to do some other stuff along those lines. I don't have my, oh, my, oh it's upstairs. I don't have my microphone with me right now. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. If not, just let me know. I need to go get that microphone or whatever and uh, let me take a look 
apparently the birds are chirping now that I'm outside. There were no birds out here earlier, but then I come out and all of a sudden the birds want to start talking. Let me see here. Let's see if I can find a little tune. Courtesy of MU free music for your YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out MU and you're looking for music backgrounds, check out MU free music for your YouTube channel. All the stuff they do is basically uh, royalty free as long as you just put them in the credits. And they got some nice relaxing stuff there too. So if that music comes through too loud, just let me know as well. But before I start the drinking, let's take a look at the unboxing of stuff. Not a bad cigar, but definitely not like the one I had that was the Bourbon Maker's Mark. Decent enough, though. So I made a run earlier to uh, Jungle Gems. And if you've seen the Jungle Gems video before, you know how big Jungle Gems is. <laughs> Peppo Pig passed out, too. <laughs> So I ended up picking up a few things out there. Uh, one of the things I picked up, I picked up another one of these cause I'm gonna actually do a side by side at some point of the two beers and then we'll do individual beer reviews of them. So this was like a deal, was like $5.99. And these are uh, two of the uh, limited edition Imperial Russian Stouts, 2012 or 2013 vintage. These you can actually sell or says for up to 13 years. So lots of time available to get into this one it's a courage imperial russian stout i've had someone tell me that this is really a good stout and of course in the middle there is a glass as well so for 5.99 you get the glass and the two beers that's a pretty good deal uh both bottles 11.2 ounce bottles but uh i'm gonna do something on that then i decided to pick up some other glassware while i was at jungle gyms and because I don't have any more right now because the last one I had was broken. I picked up these and these are for Shorts Brewing out of Michigan. But it's a non-nick or a no-nick pint glass. Which I like these glasses which are good because they have this little part of it right here. Which is great for holding as you're talking and drinking and stuff. So I picked up a couple of these. These were like $2.99 each. So pretty good deal on those on the glassware. And then I picked up a third glass because I've been wanting to get a style of this glass. And I had not really seen it until just recently here. So this is the, oh, wrong one. This is one actually from Rogue or with the Rogue logo on it. And that's one of the ones like this, right? So this was $3.99. And I actually didn't have this Rogue glass. I don't think I have any Rogue glasses in the collection. So I ended up getting this one here. And I do think I'm going to start using some of these glasses to drink out of on the videos and stuff too. Um, had not been doing that before and kind of getting to the point of I might as well start using them. So, got those. Those are the three glasses I picked up. Looking forward to trying. And then I also, obviously, grabbed some beer because, you know, it is a beer store. And one that I actually got here, this is the six glass quadruple L from Boulevard. So you check that out. That's a big 20, is that 22 ounce? Might be the 25 ounce bottle. Let me see here. 10.3 ABV. Yeah, this is one pint, 9.4 ounces. So 25.4 ounces on this one. And uh, looking forward to trying this at some point. I got all beers I can kind of hold out on because I'm not going to drink a lot of these right now. But I'm going to go ahead and um, put them in the cellar for a bit of time. This one had a date of t December 28, 2018. And looking forward to seeing what this uh, have to offer here. And then I also got one from Hopper Stout. Hopper Frog is also here from out of Ohio, Northern Ohio. This one actually comes in at 10.5% ABV. Um, and it is an extreme double oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this has to offer. I don't know if I've had any Hop and Frog beers. I've heard a lot about them and I see them. I just hadn't picked them up before. So now I'm gonna check those out. 
And then this is also Taurus the Tyrant, also from Hoppin' Frog. And this one is a triple oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout, 13.8 ABV. Um, again, this one is a 22 ounce bottle as well. So this will be one that I'll look at trying down the line. It's a great time to pick up beers right now that you can actually sell her because all the bigger beers come out around this time of year. Excuse me. So nice sitting outside. I really should get some lawn furniture at some point to put out here. But all this behind us is all of our backyard, grass area. Come out here like on the weekends, we'll have deer out here, we'll have rabbits out here. Obviously you'll see a squirrel occasionally. Found like frogs out there before. We got one of the few areas that actually has trees behind us, so that's kind of cool. little bit of privacy so then I also picked up let's see here from Rogue and I haven't picked up a lot of Rogue recently so not only make a glass I got a beer but we are in October and it will be Halloween this month so I picked up the dead and dead for the dead guy ale so I'm gonna probably do this one maybe like Halloween night that'll be a Thursday depending if we do a show or a later show because I know like Todd has kids and it might be hot trick or treating or something like that and everything so um, this will be maybe one of the ones towards the end of the month dead guy ale Asian dead guy whiskey barrels so looking forward to trying this this has an ABV of 7.9 session ale <laughs> 40 IBU so I kind of dig that label though and dead guy ale is one of the ones I do like from uh, rogue for sure and then I found this one here, which was kind of interesting in the aisle. This was the, from uh, Cambridge Brewing. It was a Belgian style triple. So this is another one. I think that's a 25.4 ounce bottle. And this one actually comes in with an ABV of 10%. Yeah, one pint plus nine ounces. And uh, I've had stuff from them before that's pretty decent. So looking forward to see what this tastes like. It tells you 100% bottle condition, so pour it carefully meaning you'll have some of the stuff there in the bottom as well. That stuff doesn't really mess with you, but, um, oh, that's pretty cool. Everything on here, um, portion of the proceeds from this sale of the beer will promote research in the Lou Gehrig's disease. Didn't see that before. It made mention about the, the on here, is paying homage to Daryl Strawberry. No, I'm sorry, Daryl Strawberry, Daryl Gross. I'm not talking about Daryl Strawberry. Um, Triple Threat was the first Belgian style beer ever commercially produced in the USA. Hmm. Didn't know that. So Daryl had basically passed away from battling ALS and so they donate proceeds to that for Lou Gehrig's disease. So that's pretty interesting. And then the final thing I've got the coup de gras, if you will, was I've got one of the Big Bad Baptists already in there, but this is the quadruple barrel of the Big Bad Baptist. This one comes in with an ABV of 11.2. This was release number six, 2018 edition, Imperial Stout Asian Whiskey and Rum Barrels with roasted cacao nibs, almond flavor, barrel aged coffee beans, barrel aged coconut, and barrel aged almond. So looking forward to seeing that taste as well. So I just picked up some of those as some of the big beers to actually check out. And then I'm gonna enjoy and share some of that stuff down the line. So what's everybody up to on Friday? Anybody drinking anything? Anybody kicking back, just relaxing? What do you guys got going on tonight? As I enjoy my stogie. Stogie. Spike says Elmo got hype up. Foam beer. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having some nice weather where you're at as well. I know some of the other guys are talking about on their channel, the weather actually broke for them too. Um, I was watching 21090 Brewing earlier, another great channel to check out. And they were, he was, uh, Todd was doing a brew day and was really 
taking in some of the weather there as well, which made it nice. Just peaceful out here today though, which is a good thing. See, Blackberry Porter established, the brewery was established 1999. Imperial Porter with natural flavors and Asian oak barrels. What is natural flavors anyway? People say Asian, natural flavors. So, not adding anything. Now it says on here, tasting notes, blackberry jam, oak, toffee, roasted malt, hops were centennial. Imperial Porter with natural flavors, Asian oak barrels. Hmm. Still a little cool to the touch, so I'm gonna let that actually get together. <laughs> Drewski says, drink them mofos. Oh, I'll drink them, don't you worry about that. So what are you drinking tonight, Drewski? What's going on in your world, my friend? You know, wasted his day off. <laughs> hey, we all got goals, Drewski. We all got goals. Pretty cold here in Central New York today, uh, Martin said as well. Yeah, you guys are probably getting a little bit more cooler than we are because you're more north of us. But I think you guys were dealing with some of the heat too before. So I'll take coolness. I would prefer to be colder than hotter. I'm just that kind of person. I just, I can't take, I don't like a lot of high heat, so. I don't like a lot of cold weather, but I like it more than heat usually. Obviously, if it gets too cold, then that can be an issue. Now, despite this spear, actually, I didn't bring a bottle opener. Now I think about it. I'm going to go get one here. Even though... Well, you know what? I'll go get another glass. I'll get the right glassware. Hashtag proper glassware. You guys. Thanks, Martin. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is one of those other tracks from... Um, um, MU Music... MU Free Music for your YouTube. Great channel. A lot of relaxing stuff like this. So I always try to play their tracks when I can. Um, glad you enjoy it. Yeah, this is uh, this one is Groove Chill, I believe it's called or Groove Music. Hey, Alex Beermaster, what's up, Raj? Hope you'll be joining my Checks Mix live stream tonight. I don't have any checks, but you know what? I may tune in for you, brother, and see how it goes on there. Show some love and support, Alex. If you don't know Alex the Beermaster, check him out. <coughs> Alex does beer reviews and. I think you're just on Friday nights right now. You're doing the food reviews as well. So he gets people together to try different snacks and foods. And tonight, it's going to be the Chex Mix. Let me go get a, another glass here real quick. I'm going to put these beers over to the side and get a bottle opener. I will be back. Enjoy the music, why don't you? All right, so here we'll go with a uh, glass and a bottle opener. Just want you to realize the other handle of the corkscrew for wine. Dual purpose, my friends.
was drinking Jim Beam and now one of the screwdrivers. Oh, you're gonna get crazy, Drewski. Drewski, don't forget to check in on Alex Chex Mix video tonight. into the nice tulip glass. And again, if you missed it, Kentucky Blackberry Barrel Porter. There you go. Nice looking beer, got about a head, an inch of head there, that's pretty much tan, dark color beer. Definitely get the blackberries coming out. Nice fruitiness to it. Good sweetness in the aroma. Get a little bit of that maltiness as well. So, nice tones. You get the feel of dark fruits on the taste. Picking up kind of like a plum, a black licorice in there. But also getting that raspberry feel. Hey, what's happening, Todd? 21090. I was just talking about your video earlier, telling people to check you out. You were doing a brew day today. A little bit of a syrupy thing in the texture. Hey, welcome, Mill Syrup. Cheers. Zoom, zoom, hi. It's not bad. It's almost got a Jolly Rancher feel to it, but not really any tartness on the back end. Two beers brewed today, nice. So what styles, I didn't get a chance to ask you earlier, and I missed when you were talking about, what styles did you brew today, 210, Todd? You had me wanting to brew some beers again, watching you do that work. I was like, I need to get back and brew some stuff, but it's hard to get all the time in to do everything you want to do. It's kind of like you were brewing and you're doing other stuff, but you were talking about how you catch up on the YouTube stuff as well. It's kind of like if you do one over here, you're behind on one over here, so you got to try to get that balance. Oh, a maple bourbon stout and a coconut brown ale. Nice. Coconut seems to be more of a input nowadays. I don't know if you're seeing it as well, Todd, or any of you guys that are watching, but I'm finding more beers being put out now with coconut being involved. Like the one I had at uh, earlier today at uh, Mount Carmel, that coconut stout was actually really delicious, but I'm seeing it more and more pop up. Be there with the <laughs> bells on. All right, there you go. Yeah, I'll tune in to watch, but I don't have any. I don't have any checks. I don't have any checks. Alex, you should do like a bagel bites video. <laughs> do a bagel bites. <laughs> really easy to impart coconut flavor in a brew. Yeah, but I've had some brews where it says coconut, and the coconut is too faint. I feel like I get you know kind of chipped on those. Like you want like I had the peanut butter beer earlier. And the peanut butter was too low for what it should be coming through. If you're going to say, hey, this is a part of the beer, you got to make sure you have enough in there to actually come comes through. <laughs> Alex says, hey, Rajay, maybe one day we'll do some growing when we hang out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I'm back up into the big NJ, actually a little NJ because it's a small state, but it's the big NJ in the heart. So was everybody else like ready for the weekend like I was? I was ready for some time off. Three pounds of unsweetened coconut in my five gallon batch. One pound in the mash, one pound in the secondary, one pound in the cake. So good, yeah, well, that's a good amount, yeah. It's kind of like when people do watermelon, like watermelon takes a lot to go into it to get that watermelon flavor to come through. 
you have to make sure you definitely have the right counsel and stuff. <laughs> I bet you are, especially two batches. <laughs> and make sure you guys check out 21090 because at some point they're going to release the state series. So I sent him beers from Kentucky that are going to have one of their videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to 21090 so you're able to catch that when they release that video at some point here. And especially if you like the brew, they have great brewing stuff on their brew days. Uh, Todd does a really good job, so make sure you check those out. Yes, we will. That's <laughs> what I promise. I know. It's, it's just everything is like kind of crazy to keep up. I can't keep up on even catching everybody's videos. I'm trying to steadily catch up on people. I mean, this weekend, I want to try to catch up on some of the videos I missed. I had DJ from DJ's Brew Tubes had chimed in on one of my videos, and I was just thinking, like, I got to really catch up on his, and I haven't got a chance to receive a lot of his videos. And if you guys haven't seen DJ's Brew Tube, it's a great channel. You should also check out. DJ does a hell of a job there and brings the excitement to every episode and really has some good beers. So I need to get back and get into his rotation so I can check out the stuff he's been reviewing. I watched Brad Allison earlier today, another good channel. Finally got to see him, his review in the Bell's uh, Double Too Hard. It was glad to see that and everything, so. All right, Ty, so I can't go get the boys. I threw them a bath. If you're later on, I'll stop back. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, definitely stop back. I'm debating tonight maybe doing like a live stream later where it might be a hangout or something. So if people want to jump on, I might do it through StreamYard and maybe we'll do like a live hangout later tonight. Um, probably looking maybe around 10 or so if we do that. Um, if I don't do that, it might be on the gaming channel playing uh, the other Todd that's on the Beer Flow show and some games on there. But if not, I'm thinking I might do that. And it'd be cool to have you guys jump in if you're around and you want to join. So, cheers, brother. Yeah, DJ, 20 minutes from you. That's pretty cool. And so I'm hopeful you guys have met and gotten together and do some stuff. If not, you definitely should. It'd be some great video there for sure. And if anybody else is watching is thinking about that they might want to join a hangout if I do it later, just let me know. Leave me a comment, and if I do it, I can uh, make sure you get the invite or make sure you're aware of it. Tuesday nights, if you guys aren't familiar with Al Alan's Beer and Gaming, another channel to check out. Um, good stuff there, but I was doing more sports stuff, but Tuesday nights is their football kind of night and stuff like that. So last week he invited me to look maybe partaking in that going forward. So Tuesday nights I'll probably be on their live stream as we talk sports and have a few beverages as well. I'm more of the college game than the pro game, but we've had some great conversations over there. So make sure you guys check out Allen's Beer and Gaming as well. And if I missed anybody and you got a channel you want to let people know about, let me know. Make sure to give you a shout out. Yeah, cool, Alex. Yeah, if I'm live, definitely feel free to uh, come on by for sure to join in. Drewski said he's down for the hangouts as well. I know Paul from BA Brew News might be freed up, so we might get Paul on there too. Um, so we'll definitely see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to drink beer if I do the hangout or I might drink a little bit of spirits. Does anybody else like cigars that is watching? I mean, do you have certain cigars you like if you do smoke cigars? Or I find cigars to be very relaxing. I can't do that ring thing now. That people do make the rings with their mouth when they smoke. I'm like, I can't get that. Oh, a pipe, man. I always thought a pipe would be interesting to actually give a try to. Back in the day in college, I actually chewed tobacco and everything. So started with like the, uh, the Levi type stuff, but ended up working up to where we were doing school.
Bowl and Copenhagen and all that kind of stuff before I left school. I kind of stopped doing that, but go to school in West Virginia at some point. You tried to backy, it seems, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, I bet they do have their own learning curve for sure. There's different types of pipes there too. I mean, you got kind of got the kind that the Sherlock Holmes type things where you like the intellectual, but then you have like the cob pipes, like you're, you know, an Appalachia or something. Um, and I'm sure it's fun to try the different ones. And I guess some of the tobaccos probably got some different things happening as well. Alex, you don't smoke, you won't smoke any. Okay, well, that's cool. You don't have to, you don't have to for sure. Yeah, I mean, I used to smoke cigarettes back in the day, and I stopped that back in 2000. And I smoke a cigar once in a while. Um, I actually prefer the kind of the cigar because it's just a straight tobacco usually, but um, it's a risk, but it is what it is. We all got our vices, so to speak, I guess, at certain points. Uh, Martin says he uses briar and keeping them clean is the trick. All right. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll try a pipe. Supposedly in Cuba, they actually discovered a uh, a cure for lung cancer. People have said. I guess because they do so much cigar stuff, they've done the research, and I don't know how true it is. I've seen the various reports saying they had that down there, though. Which would be interesting if they did have it, they didn't share it with other people. Although here in America, we treat more the disease and find a cure for stuff because there's more money in it. Rick James, bitch, what's up? Chris Eastwood Farms in the house. What's going on, brother? Are you back home or are you traveling the globe again right now? Chris is a traveling son of a gun. He's all over the world, it seems, at points. You see him one day at home, the next day he's like in France or England. It's like freaking uh, born, just traveled all over the globe. Passports to various countries. <laughs> he says home for the night. So yeah, you're off tomorrow then to, to travel abroad again, probably. <laughs> Traveling is fun now. I used to travel to my old jobs. It was all in the U.S., but it's a good time. Get to see other parts of the country. To be able to travel like every week, though, that can be that can be a pain after a point. But I guess if the money's right, you're always willing to do it. All right, Martin, cheers. I understand that. It's the dinner bell's ringing, wife yelling, later, guys. Hey, happy wife, happy life. So go get that dinner. And then uh, if you're around later, we might be back up here doing some stuff as well. So cheers, brother. Thanks for swinging by. Anybody got any big plans for Saturday? Anybody got their college football team playing tomorrow that they're pumped up about? Looking forward to? We got a big game. West Virginia plays Texas tomorrow. We're 10 and a half underdogs, I believe. I would love us to get the upset in Morgantown. If we get the upset, couches will be on fire. Chris, I actually have four valid passports, but that's all I'm going to say. Exactly. You're like the Bourne. You're Michael Bourne or whatever. You're like Bourne supremacy. No. I got to actually renew my passport. I haven't done that yet. I just saw the one thing, if you guys aren't aware, apparently now we have to get like almost like a national... ID for our license, our state licenses for driving, where they put like a star or something on it so that you can travel. And uh, some states aren't prepared for it yet, but if you don't have it like next year, they won't let you fly. They'll let you fly if you have a passport, but not your state license. So, and they and they get the state license, you have to have like four 
uh, things of identification you have to bring to DMV to get it done. So you know, like your social security card or bills from the house or your old one, you know, whatever identification pieces they accept there, which is interesting. I feel like we're going to a nationalization of that. So that's where I feel about that personally. Would anybody have any uh, real ID? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Feels a little, feels a little fascist to me, but that's just me. Anybody have any uh, unique beers lately that you tried? Anything in the world? found out that uh, Ballast Point had at one point or another released a Victory at Sea that was an Oreo variant. I kind of want to find that now. I don't know if they're going to release it again or not, but people have had it and uh, it's got pretty high ratings. I would love to find that one. Driving now, but listen, all right. Eyes on the road. <laughs> But well, you'll get back to the house and have a little something probably. Are you going live tonight, Chris? Are you going to be going live or are you going to kind of be resting to have to travel tomorrow? At what time are you going live, Alex? Are you like 8 o'clock on your show, Alex, going live? Here's a question for you guys that are watching. For you, you all that have like YouTube channels, what are you guys finding like in the growth of your YouTube channel? Are you finding things to be maybe a little bit harder now or easier than what they were before? Are you noticing certain things that might be more challenging that weren't as challenging previously or might be more challenging? Um, feels like there's some challenging things happening out there with YouTube lately, but Kind of curious if you guys are seeing out on your stuff. I got a little bit of a raspberry soda type feel there. Anybody go see the Joker movie yet? I am gonna think I'm gonna try to see that this weekend. Haven't seen it yet, but of course, but it's just a lot of people worried about it out there. They keep releasing these things around it like shit may happen. And it's kinda of like I don't know, I think they're kinda of hyping the concerns. Hey, drunken one, what's happening, brother? Yeah, it's a nice night now. We're mid 60s high 60s or whatever finally got past that heat wave decided to kick out back i did an unboxing earlier i don't think you were here for that and share some of the new beers that i got and some beer glassware and now just kind of lounging with a cigar and drinking one of the beers here what do you got what are you drinking tonight drunken one i know you got something in front of you another good channel to check out drunken one of course
No, you're not drinking something? Just finished dinner? What? You have no after dinner drink? What is going on? Are you changing on me? Do I know who you are anymore? Sweetwood or Triple Tail. Yeah, I knew you had something there. <laughs> How do you like that Sweetwater? Sweetwater's, um, I said before, they're usually hit and miss, but they've definitely been hitting a little bit more for me recently than what they were in the past. So I think you're getting more stuff together for them. Little birds flying around here. I think I actually have like a nest under my deck and these birds are trying to get up there to it. Oh, he's got a mix pack to even try to get, okay. So you got like a 12 pack. Oh, Costco. I don't know if you guys saw or not. Costco has the, uh, they came out with the Advent pack, 24 beers. For their advent calendar, I think it's six, uh, 59 something, $60 for the, the uh, 24 beers. They're all from Germany, so I may pick that up at some point. That would sound, that sounds interesting. It's a good way to get some German beers for sure since they're doing all German. So, might be something to check out if you guys have a Costco near you. A bit thin, not bad though. Oh, I thought you haven't tried it yet. Five and a half percent. No. Is a triple tail an IPA? Ah, I just cracked it, all right. Yeah, IPA. Okay, that's what I thought it was. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I may do a live stream. Hang out later, drunken one, if you're around. I'll do it like after Alex's thing when he does his checks mix, but I might do uh, that later on tonight. Channel's about due for another hangout, I believe. I like to do it with some music and stuff, but every time it takes one song and then it's like it kills your video. Last time it was ACDC, so if anybody plays ACDC, on their videos that'll get your channel you know not your channel that'll get your video blocked because acdc seems to block the uh videos that use their music which i don't get because you're not monetizing it and it gives them just more notice and more attention but it is what it is now i don't have any checks mixed so i'll probably just maybe watch and comment some i'll probably eat dinner when you guys are doing that one I got some leftover spaghetti that I'm going to probably eat later. And then uh, I'll just chime from the peanut gallery. Yeah, I'm thinking I might visit another brewery tomorrow. I'm not sure which one. There's one that we have here called Alexandria Brewing Company. I told them a few times I would come down, so I might check them out. Um. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. That's just the thing. I'm not everywhere anymore as much just because of time. Like, so many different things going on, so it's hard to catch up on stuff. It's funny, like, I went on, um, when I went over to uh, Maxwell Star, Nick's channel the other day, it was kind of like, hey, you're not over here as much. And it's kind of like, I just, so many different things. I'm going different places. And the same when I went to visit like Brandon and Craft Beer Pours, it's just like finding the time to get to do everything and get to see everybody is just, sometimes it'd be more tough than, than easy, it seems. But we'll get it back. Always love and enjoy my YouTube community. <sighs> well, 
a real life is subjective, right? Some people will think they have a real life. Others might be like, ah, oh, that's not a real life. <laughs> oh, everybody has their own definition of what that would be. I feel like companies work is a lot more nowadays. <laughs> Well, on the blog that I do on the other website, I am writing more pieces too, so that takes more time to sit there and write some pieces and stuff like that too. <laughs> Checks mixer here comes Alex, yeah. Well, Alex has been here, so Alex invited me to partake on it, but I don't have any checks mix. I probably could run to the Kroger and get some. But after having a few beers, it's probably best to stay at the house now. I don't want Eric, you know, coming after me with his PSA. We adhere to that on this channel. We follow that to a T. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> right. <laughs> he would take me out of the knees. <laughs> That's the Eric Elias threat. I'll come and take your knees. Such a peaceful night though. It's always good to have a peaceful night where you can gather your thoughts. Just relax. At times like this, I wish I had a hot tub. Just kick back in the hot tub. We can get in the hot tub. We were talking about trying to go to Gatlinburg because that's where people go here down in Tennessee and all the cabins at this time of year, you get the changing of the colors of the leaves and stuff, but all the cabins have like hot tubs. You just sit there and relax. Have some moonshine. I haven't had moonshine in a while. So anybody else drinking anything yet besides Drunken One who's got his triple tail going? Yeah, I'm with you on that Drunken One. I could definitely use some, some moonshine. Some of the apple pie with the cinnamon. Or cherry with the cherries in there. You get down to the moonshine to the bottom and you eat the fruit that's it has been soaking in that moonshine. Has a little bit of a hit at the end. I guess it's like eating a worm in tequila. Which I've never eaten a worm in tequila. I know people that have, but. The sun is setting. Sometimes sitting in nature is kind of like, I wouldn't mind going camping sometime. And then you realize, I don't really want to go camping. I don't want to sleep on the ground. <laughs> uh, the music I'm listening to is great channel, MU free music for YouTube, for your, for your YouTube, I think. The link is in the description. Um, but they make music that you can use on your YouTube channel. It doesn't cost anything to use it. They have different vibes that you can use. All you do is give them credit in your description so that, you know, and it's royalty free and stuff. So they do some pretty good tunes. The worm doesn't do anything, Drisky said. I thought it added like a little bit of a bite or something. I guess not, huh? Maybe it depends on what tequila you're drinking now. Yeah, also look that up. Yeah, if you go into my description down about, I don't know, maybe halfway or whatever, you'll see music courtesy of their channel and there's a link and you can just you can pop right over to their channel 
and you can subscribe and check out some of the stuff they're doing. All about sharing on YouTube. Still trying to get a ring. I can't get the ring. I just can't do it. It's just 7.30 here in the east. I'm trying to take some other good channels to check out. You can check out Beer Man. If you haven't checked out Beer Man, Beer Man's out in uh, Oregon, does some good stuff. Make sure you check out his channel. Obviously, you already know Erica Lyons fan from being on here and the Beer Patrol from Joe. Maxwell Starr, uh, Nick, he does Canada. Well, he doesn't do Canada, but he's in Canada. Chris from Off the Tent, another good beer channel to check out. Ashley Sexton, Sexton Bruin. If you like home brewing stuff, Sexton Bruin, you might want to check out Ashley's channel because he always talks about home brews. He does home brewing. Great channel to catch up on some of the different things that he's doing. Then overseas, you got Dean's Beer Reviews over in the UK, great channel. You got Blue Nose Beer Reviews, Harry does good stuff. The Clueless Drinker, Peter. Uh, who else am I missing here? You got Rampant Lion, that's James' channel, good one to check out. You got Terry's Beer Reviews, Terry's Quick Beer Reviews. Okay, they're setting up. Cool. All right, I'll check you guys out there in a little bit. You're welcome, brother. Thanks for swinging by. Probably when I finish my cigar, I'm going to shut this down, and then I'll check stuff out. Going back to the uh, Kentucky Blackberry Porter, by the way, as far as my personal rating with this one, I give this one a 375. It's decent enough to actually kick back and enjoy. <laughs> he needs all the help he can get. Yeah, <laughs> help him, help him, help a brother out. Drewski said, "Had it straight from Mexico. Warm, didn't do a thing to, to me." Huh? Okay. Eastwind Farms, another good channel. If you're not checking out Chris, Chris has some pretty good stuff on there. I think you got to catch you live though, because some of your stuff, because you get jamming with the music, and sometimes your videos get blo get blocked by the music groups too. But always a good time. Great to unwind on Eastwind Farms channel. Hey, you've had this brand, this not that kind. Yeah, this is one I just saw for the first time this year when it came out with it. And they got some other ones they're experimenting with. So, like I said, they're a hit and miss brewery. But that one's pretty decent. Brandon just tried a White Claw. Oh, man, you just went down a notch in my book, Brandon. You just went down a notch. Did you turn into Trish when you drank the White Claw? I've seen a lot of videos where guys turn into women when they try a White Claw. <laughs> and you should stick with beer. I don't know why you doubted the beer and why you went to a seltzer like that. If you're going to do a seltzer, Brandon... <laughs> yeah, I grew a vagina. <laughs> If you're going to do a seltzer, at least do the four loco at 14%. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that white call. Uh-uh. Company had it, so tried it. <laughs> I hope you didn't make any weird face if your company brought it for you. <laughs> now, I will say here locally, Braxton Brewing... 
they have a line they're called Vive. And I, we actually tried theirs when Joe and Eric and uh, Todd were here. And they actually had some decent flavors to some of theirs. It was better than White Claw from what they told me because some of them had tried White Claw before. I had not. But they had one that was a peach one that actually was pretty decent. But if you were to drink it, I would take the seltzer and put it like put liquor in it, you know, kind of like a gin and something or a vodka and something. That way you get more of a flavored drink. Well, but not going to be my thing, yeah. But they're doing something because they're making money for sure. I know, you know, their market is probably like what 80 90 percent women or whatever but you know it's a matter of what you like if you like it you like it so we always tease but always drink what you like so although for shit and giggles i should do a review on that on the channel at some point because i've never done one of the seltzer on the channel or flavored malt beverage as they call it at some spots fmb get a fmb <laughs> Brandon, are you going? To, are you doing the checks mix with Alex, or are you going to go over to check out his stuff as well? Worst beers get biggest hits on my channel. Fuck <laughs> my life. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like some of the worst beers are the cheapest beers, so more people buy them. So that's probably why you get more hits on it. I mean, I think the cheap beers that I've done on this channel have been, I've done Miller High Life, which got pretty decent hits. I've done Natty Daddy, which got pretty decent hits. I've done Budweiser, but if I do some of the other stuff out there, I probably would get more hits on it, but then it's kind of like, um, I don't want to seem like just to do it, just to try to chase for people to watch or whatever, but yeah, some of those other ones, they're more easy to get. Like, I can do a Pass Blue Ribbon, and Pass Blue Ribbon, I actually have no problem with, and that's like a cheap beer, too. I should do a series, do a series just on cheap beers. I don't know if you've done it on your channel or not, but that could be a good idea. Supposedly, the... The economy, the economy's rolling, but people are still struggling in spots, so cheap beer videos might not be bad. Oh, you done pissed off, you done pissed off a hipster there, Brandon, and said you hate past. <laughs> that is the hipster beer now. So I know I'm old. I'm so old, I remember when Pabst was like, bottom of the barrel type thing but people love it now <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah go out and get some red dog and do a review on red dog don't care about pissing folks off <laughs> right <laughs> I hear you there brother <laughs> Just keeping it real. Hashtag keeping it real. That's CPP -C -P 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 for you. Craft beer pours. And make sure y'all check out Brandon's channel because Brandon has some fun stuff on his channel too. So. It's actually kind of low tonight. I think people are kind of running around. Usually there's more viewers. I think I have five right there showing, but usually there's more people there around. So. Hopefully people will catch the replay. Are you going live tonight, Brandon? Or is Trish going live on the channel? Because I might go live later and do a hangout if you guys are around. Yeah, it has been slow the last couple of weeks. I agree. You know, it's funny. I kind of looked at some of the videos I had done. And I've gotten views on all the videos for the most part, but I was wondering, like, is it something going on? I'm missing something here. But then I went and looked at other channels, and other channels weren't getting really that many views either. So I don't know. I'm kind of wondering, where we do a lot of the beer stuff, if we're kind of being put to the back or something. Like, people aren't just noticing us as much anymore, or YouTube has kind of faded down some of that kind of stuff. 
Oh, okay, you got family coming in a couple hours, all right. Sober October, Drewski's doing a Sober October? What? What? <laughs> I thought you were just drinking the other night on one of the channels. I don't think it was Monday night, so I thought it was October. Maybe I'm wrong. No beer from the recliner? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon said, Drew, you're a liar. <laughs> you lie. You lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I take off days during the week where I don't drink, though. So I feel like you have to, you have to do some type of balance to moderate yourself. So. On the weekends, I'll enjoy some, but usually, like, during the week, I'll cut back and won't do really anything. Which is great when you have the backlog, because you're uploading videos. Doesn't mean you're partaking at that time, but that's why you want to keep a backlog for days you're not drinking. You can still share stuff. Which reminds me, I have some editing to do tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> Only days that end in Y, right? <laughs> But that was like that National Drink Beer Day. Do we really need a National Drink Beer Day? <laughs> so you're the man now, dog. Sean Connery. I think if I could have any actor's accent, it might be Sean Connery's. Walking Dead is back this weekend. Anybody watch The Walking Dead? That's coming back Sunday night. All right, Brandon, brother. I hear you. Thanks. I appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you probably over at Alex's stream here in a little bit if you're going to pop in and... Uh, if you get freed up later and I'm doing a hangout and you want to join in, then feel free as well. I'll put some stuff out there. Either I'm going to be uh, battling Todd on the PS4 or doing a hangout later on. So stay tuned. Have a great time with the fam, my friend. Cheers, brother. And with that, I think I'm down to pretty much my last couple of puffs here on the cigar. The beer glass is empty. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and wind this baby down, get back inside, get reset up, see what's happening. Make sure again, Alex the Beer Master is gonna have the Chex Mix video going. Go check him out as well. I'm gonna probably pop over there for a bit. And then later on tonight, look for some more stuff back here on the channel. I do have a review coming out at 9.15 Eastern. Forgot what beer I set it up for, but there will be another live, re not live, it'll be a recorded review, but that'll be up at 9.15 and then uh, maybe some live stuff later on. But thanks for everybody that tuned in. Always appreciate it. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>